Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my empties for April. Um, these all should be from April. Maybe there's a few that were left over from the very, very end of March. And sorry for any mess you see behind me. I'm in the process of moving and if you've ever moved, you know, it's a struggle. I've moved a lot in the past few years, so we're just thought I'd film my empty so I can get rid of these so that I can toss them so that I can have a little bit extra space to pack. So I have my trash next to me as well as all of my empties which I guess are also considered trash. Um, there will be some sneak peeks to some of my projects that I'm doing on this channel but overall most of them are just um, things I've used up naturally. Um, I'm not going to go in any specific order just because I didn't put them in a specific order. So yeah, so we'll get started with, first we have the Good Stuff Color Protect Milk. And this is like a leave-in conditioner type situation. Um, it is completely empty. It did like come up on the sides, but I can no longer pump it out. And I really don't know if this stuff worked. So I'm just gonna call it empty. Next, I have my Bath & Body Works Rose Champagne shower gel completely used up besides like the littlest bit that's like right here but it's kind of clear so you can't tell but um that was a really nice scent um it definitely was a little more perfumey than i normally go for in the shower i prefer more like fresh or like bakery type so but it was nice all right Next, I'll throw, I have a lot of wax in here, so I'll try to go through as much as I can in like clumps. So if you don't like wax, you can just skip ahead, but um, so the first three I have here are actually from Pity Party Candles, which is, all of my empties just fell, lovely. Um, so this is a little company that is based out of Wisconsin and she's a very very small company she like only sells to friends family co-workers and stuff like that at the moment and then she goes to um like crafts it shows and stuff like that and sells them as well but they're very cheap and she donates all of her money back to an animal rescue so that's really cool so this first one is Napa Valley Sunset blue cologne which this is a dupe of an actual cologne um i don't remember who it's by but they smell very similar and then for any of you that are victoria's secret lovers the love spell perfume this is an exact dupe smells just like the actual scent and was absolutely wonderful in the wax next we have um something from Wolf Wicks, and this is the XOXO Smoke Chocolate Covered Cherries. I didn't really care for this one, and I think it was the chocolate. I don't think I'm a big fan of chocolate and wax. Um, I think it's just a little too much for me. But overall, uh, my boyfriend really, really liked it, and this was his pick every single time. I was like, well, what do you want me to melt? <laughs> All right, next we have from The Bathing Garden. Um, this was part of their 12 day, their like 12 days type situation um and this is candy cane nor 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 something i can't pronounce like any words but it was fine nothing special let me see if i can just okay i think this is the rest of my wax so another bathing garden we have winter palace this was actually really nice um more of like a sweet type scent and so that, I really did like that one. And then another was Old World Glamour from the same collection from the Bathing Garden. Um, I honestly don't remember this one. Um, oh, this one I had in my living room. I do remember this. Very pepperminty, but it was kind of nice. Especially like, cause it's still been cold. Next we have from Love Fat Wax, um, Keto Schmido. Um, and this was cake, cookies, and donuts piled high with a healthy or not dose of ooey gooey marshmallow frosting. 
I didn't really care for this one. I think I'm just learning about myself. I'm not a huge bakery person when it comes to my wax. Next we have Jim's Daughters, Daughter Crafts, Jim. I think it's Jim. And it's I Hate to Admit, but he melts my Hagen, Hagen, Hagen Dazs. Hagen Dazs, I think it is hot. And it's a Gonda Strawberry Pound Cake, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Sugar Waffle Cones. And this one was pretty nice. Had this one going in my bedroom and it was just like, okay. Another one from that Pity Party Candles was the scent Pineapple. This was a really good transition when it got a little warmer. Um, I have really nothing bad to say about this company. Um, her melts are always amazing. Let's see, do I have another one? I do. And then I had Pear Spice as well by her. Um, this was in cute little tree shapes. Um, they were just like really little, but this was nice. Definitely not one of my favorites, but it was all right. And then I saw another one from the bathing garden in here, and this was Polar Bear Fairy. I wish I had the scent notes for all of these, but this was really, really nice. And like, I would buy a full size of this. Next we have from Scented Soy Blend Wax. Melt Soul Inspiration, Strawberry Clouds, which is Strawberry Pound Cake, and Marshmallow, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. This one was really nice. Um, this one filled the room very nicely. Um, I only had like one use left, and yeah, that was pretty nice. Then from Boardwalk's Wax, we have I'm Flying, which is Lollipops, Love Spell, Fluffy Candy, and Summer Melon. Um, Boardwalk Wax. I don't know what they do with their wax, but it will scent my entire apartment with just like one little cube of it. So this was great. Next from a great scent, we have Everything Nice, which was butter, sugar, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, tonka, and vanilla. And then Bite Me, which was lime, orange, and cherry berries. Um, just two little sample things here. Um, I really like these. Um, these do also scent my entire apartment very nicely. Lastly, I believe in wax melts, we had from Wolfwick's Vanilla Pebbles, which was just kind of like a fruity pebbles, but a little more vanilla based. It was nice. Um, again, I'm not into the whole like super fruity bakery type situation. So I'm glad this is done with. Next, I'll just move in real quick. I have two vitamins I thought maybe you guys would want to see, but the Nature Made Super B Complex and then the Smarty Pants, just um, multivitamin. Um, this, Nature Made, worth it. This, Smarty Pants, not so much. You have to take six of these. And this was pretty expensive and it's only 40 servings. And you have to take six of them. Like I understand maybe two, but like six of them. And that was just a lot to me. I didn't appreciate that, so would not purchase again. Um, I already purchased just like Myers multivitamin type situation. I'm a vitamin person, so yes. All right, I have three candles here. The first is this Tus Tuscany candle in candy corn. This was amazing. Um, this was like the best vanilla candle I've ever had, and this burned really nicely. Like all the way down, did not leave any like residue, nothing. Talking about a candle that burned amazing. And then this candle, this was um, Cole's brand. This burned awful. Like it didn't matter how much I trimmed the wicks, how much I like lit it for a period of time, like nothing prevented this. Um, so I just carefully watched it every time I burned it. But this was in Serenity, which is was white citrus, ocean air. Fresh, clean. It was fine. But the burn on this was so bad. And then I do have Homesick Beach Cottage, which was bergamot, sandalwood, um, merino musk, sea air, amber, tonka bean. Um, it says salty ocean air with hot sand underfoot. Afternoon tides leave driftwood, seawood, and conch shells scattered among the shore. It was fine. I have really nothing good or bad to say about this one. I wish it burned better if you can see like, and this was for every single time I burned it. It just like even like all the way up the residue. I just 
just, I want a clean burn. Like that's what I want in a candle. And this just was not it. All right. I have a ton of samples. So let me just pull out as many as I see. And then if I don't get all of them, we can go back. All right. I think that's all of them. Quite a few here. So I'm just going to go through these really fast because in my opinion, unless I can use it like for a whole week straight, you don't know if it actually works. But first we have the DHC. Um, this was cleanser wash and it was in powder so you mixed it with water. It was fine. I don't appreciate the extra step. But that's just because at night is when I usually wash my face um, with like a cleanser. And I don't want the extra stuff. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Next, we had the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skincare Weightless Water Cream. And I really didn't know that CoverGirl did a ton of skincare. So I'm actually going to probably go and pick up a few things. So if anyone has any recommendations of anything CoverGirl skincare, let me know. Because I just liked how that felt on my face. It was very lightweight. And then we had the um, Winky Lux. I tore off the, like, where it said Winky Lux up here. But this was the Dream Jelly Gelly. It was a moisturizer. It was fine. And then the It Cosmetics Cream. Yes. I have also this tiny little sample here. This is my favorite moisturizer ever, but I... Can't justify paying full price price for it just because it's so expensive and I'm on a college budget. But this is really, really nice and I will forever love if I get samples. I do have a few samples left still. I don't know what just beeped. Next, sorry, that threw me off. <laughs> if you guys heard that too. Next, we have the Cool Plasma Plus Neck Cream. It was fine. It's whatever. And then the ROC Hydrate and Plump Serum Castles. These were new. Um, it was just like a little blue capsule. You broke it open. It had a serum in it. It came with one of them in this. And you can't test a serum with one. I'm just saying. Like, you can't. It's impossible. Um, so maybe it would do something if I used it for more than one day in a row. All right, next we have this. Oh, it's a little oily. This was a hair oil, um, A Walk in the Sun by Vor, Vior, however you pronounce it. It has a little dot above the R and I don't know if that makes a different sound. It was fine. It's a hair oil. Next, I'm just making sure here. We have the Derma E Advanced Peptides and Collagen Serum. I love Derma E, so like I'm sure I'll eventually buy a full size of something. Next, we have the Bliss Rose Gold Rescue PHA plus AHA Blend. This was just like a little pad that you wiped on your face, and I don't really know if it did anything. It was one facial treatment. So I should use two or three times a week, so maybe if I was able to, I could tell you, but... I can at the moment. Next, the Living Proof Restore Repair Mask. It was fine. Um, I think it made my hair softer, but I also don't really have much, like, my hair's not, like, it might look like a mess, but I promise, like, I keep up with my hair and it it's pretty moisturized usually. I use products in it to help with any moisture issues just because I live in a drier climate. But next, we have the Fresh Milk Body Lotion. It was fine. Did the job. The L'Oreal um, Revitalift, Revitalift, Revital Lift, something, serum. This thing's pretty expensive for, this, for a full size. Um, I think there's like a tiny bit left in here, but I'm going to call it done. Maybe eventually I'd love to try the full size, but not at the moment. And next I just have the Tantologist Body and Face Drops. They usually work. This time they did not at all. Like I've had these before. 
and I know they work. And usually I can put them on my face and the next day I'm visibly like a shade darker at least. Like I usually have to change foundations afterwards because like my skin changes so much and it did not do that. So I don't know, like they don't expire to 2024. So I don't know what was up with these. Maybe just Bad Batch didn't make my face break out or anything. I just didn't see a color change, which is normally what I look for. All right, next, just have two Bior. This was a nose and this was like the face, the little almost like triangle type situation that comes with two of them. These are fine. I have a ton of them. I'm just gonna try to use one a week like a pair a week and get through them. Um, next, let's go through the few things that I'm just getting rid of. Decluttering, that's the word, because they just don't work for my skin. First is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I really wanna love this. I know some people really love this but it makes my face like almost peel. Like I look like my skin's peeling and it does not matter what moisturizer I use, what primer I use, what powder I use, powder or not, no powder, like this does not work for my skin. I've tried it like 20 different ways, I feel like, to get it down to where it is and it just doesn't work. So we're declutter decluttering this. Next is the Beacom Beekman. 1802 Blackberry Lip Jam. This makes my lips burn. And they don't think it should do that. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but I cannot stand my lips burning the way this makes it burn. Cause it's not like, like I have like lip plumpers and stuff. And this is from Essence, probably one of my favorite um, that actually like makes my lips feel like they're bigger and makes them look juicy and glossy. But this hurts. And I have a very, very low pain tolerance. And these are just, no, just no. <laughs> Next, I have the Milk Makeup Bionic Blush in the shade Infinity. And just, I don't know if this one just, it's a, just a sample. I think this one's just bad. Cause like, it's very watery. Um, especially when you put it on your, like, cause I usually will put it on like the back of my hand and then dab it with like a brush onto my skin and it just, water like the first thing that comes out so and next i have this sweet as honey blush i don't know what brand it came from it came with an ipsy a very long time ago and it is a beautiful shade but i have two other shades that are the exact same and i've had this one the longest and i much prefer my mac melba um which is like i can it's on my desk because I used it earlier. It's a little bit more peachy. But, and then I also have the e.l.f. Primer infused blush. That's about this shade too. And I just, it's old and I don't know where it's, like what brand it is. Next we have the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Aftershock. And such a pretty shade. But it smells going a little off and it's broken. Like push it down if I want to put it back in but like that shade's beautiful and love the formula it's just it's broken and it's really hard to use next is the morphe concealer in c125 um this is so pale for my skin like I'm pretty pale and this is pale like if I you can see the difference and it's just it's not my shape um I might give this to my sister actually so we're gonna put this aside because she's a lot paler than me um but uses very little makeup so this might be good just for her to conceal if she needs to conceal something but like you can see the difference between up here and down here now it's not it um I'll pull out the rest of my skincare just because there is quite a few things. And I believe that's it. So 
So first, we're going to start off with, I have two cleansers. I have the Derma Dr. Lucky Bamboo Oil to Milk Cleanser. I really liked this. Helped take my makeup off very, very nicely. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. And next, just the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. A staple. I have a full size of like the original, not the gentle one, but the original. It's a great body cleanser, face cleanser. You can use it for everything. It's like the one skincare product I will fully like recommend and always have. Next, I have the Vinci Mineral 89. I use this as a primer, but it's technically also a skincare item. It was fine. Nothing special. Next, I have the Golden Gold Faden MD Doctor Scrub. This was very nice, and this is like a medium to hard, like, I'm, I'm going to say medium, like, not super coarse, but it's like, not like, am I scrubbing anything on my face? It's in between. This was really nice. And next, I have two masks. I have the Bosha. I learned how to pronounce that, so I cannot remember who told me. It was in my first video, but I really appreciated that. Um, if I, I'll try to, if I can find them again, link them below if I'm, yeah. But thank you to you for helping me pronounce this. This actually dried out. So if you get this, use it quick. I put it in a project and then realized it dried out. So we're also putting this aside because it wasn't a project. And next, I have a Bliss Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. This was fun. I love their mask. All right. I have two sample size um, perfumes. I have Nautica, Midnight Voyage, and then Michael Kors Wonderlust. They are fine. Um, a little too, I want to say adult. But I am an adult, so they were a little too mature for me. I also have the Ulta Beauty Tinted Jelly Balm in the shade Watermelon. Um, this, I'm not even going to swatch it, it's a sticky mess. So I used most of it and it broke, so it's leaving. Next I have the Sophie and Maybell I Woke Up Like the Skin Perfecting primer little sample i didn't notice a difference with this but it also was a sample i didn't use it every single day so and i didn't try it with like a ton of different foundations and i should have so i could have really tested it but i'll know for next time next i have three lotions i have the cake heavy cream this smells just like frosting that's that's about all i can say i used that as a hand cream it was nice then I have the Gold Bond Healing um, Lotion. Just a little like sample of it. And it is gone gone. Like I'm honestly really surprised of how much I got out of this. Cause like I hold it up to the light and there's nothing and it's super light. But this was good on like my elbows, my knees, um, like my super dry skin. Next, I have the Aromatherapy Sleep by Bath & Body Works. I'm just really proud I used up a full-size lotion, so like, a little clap for me there, I guess. Just because I will say this in about everybody that has lotion in it, I do not use lotion. Like, sneak peek, I uploaded this video two weeks ago, my 50 Shades of Green, and that's how far. Like, what is that? Like, a centimeter? Like, I don't use lotion, so I really am proud of myself for using this up. Next, just basic, was the Mrs. Myers Clean Hand Soap. Um, my boyfriend absolutely loved this because he said growing up, like, this is what the people, like, that were fancy um, had in their houses, and he loved using the soap growing up, like, when he'd go over to his friends and stuff. So just, like, I don't know. It was weird. This was in the shade Plumberry. Um, but he had this at his sink and he said he loved it. We currently have one in the kitchen. Um, next, ooh, that fell too, was the Morphe, has an actual name on here, Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Latte. A little too dark for what I normally do my brows in, but I made it work. 
it was fine. I have the NYX one now, which I heard good things about, and I'm excited to try it. Next, we have the L'Oreal Alive Smooth Intense Smoothing Shampoo for frizzy, unruly hair. It was fine. I double shampoo when I do my hair, so this was like a first, and then I would go in with my other shampoo as like my second shampoo. I only wash my hair like once, twice a week, tops. So it took forever to use this. Next, we have two um, body scrubs. I have the mini and sugar plum berries. They need to come out with a full size of this. Hands down, this is the scent. Just amazing. Tree Hut scrubs are my favorite. Um, these are both Tree Hut scrubs. Like, will forever buy Tree Hut scrubs or the Dove body scrubs. I can't 